issue about recycling and reuse and reduction is very important. The city has targeted reducing waste that goes to landfill by 50%. And so part of the activities to help achieve those goals are first reducing the waste we are generating, recycling, and composting. I mean, there are a lot of places you go that they are using the plastic and the whole chain is being taken care of. So it does not become a challenge. So there's a whole secretariat that has been set up to help us to deal with it properly. And I think the education and the engagement and all those things are very important for us to, to pursue. The city has targeted reducing waste that goes to landfill by 50%. So any activity, as far as we are concerned, that helps to make us more aware to reduce some of these things, I think is very important. I was glad to see the, the Minister for Environment, former Minister, showing about the composting. I'm going to do one. I was telling my friend that I may have to invite my neighbors to bring their waste. Their waste because if it's just the one that I do, it will take me about five years before I can get compost out of it. But we met one lady who said it takes about 12 months for her to be full. And in that 12 months, when she gets the compost out of it, I mean, very rich material. So I hope that these are things we can do by ourselves. You also saw that we are using tires, vehicle tires. There are about 1.5 million vehicles in our country. Each vehicle at least has four, four tires, 1.5 million. So if we calculate the number of tires alone, which is becoming waste in our system, there are a number of places that these days they don't even allow anybody to put tires in the border. So that official position of government is that it is not banned. What it is is that we are improving or targeting to work on improving the management of the plastic. Because Those um, who sell sachets to us on the roadside, we don't want them to be picking the sachets on the floor. So this is an innovation so that when they are selling the sachet water, after you finish drinking, you just put it inside. Like this, so that not be picking, people are picking the sachet on the floor. But with this, it helps. We are doing all this to help keep the city clean. So this is what, and then this is where they will keep their money. And then if anybody wants to sponsor, they just do their advert here, and it helps everybody. Because you want to stop using plastic bags. Because when you, when you go to your community, every area where you live. Even the children, schools, when you go around everywhere there's plastic bags and it chokes our borders, we make our city dirty, our areas dirty. So we make these bags, if you have your children at home, you can give them one, sign a bowl and a spoon for them, put it in the, this bag, even if the school bag is full, you can hold this one. Put every bowl or spoon inside. The waste is a commodity which is being struggled by the scavengers on the camping side. So, whether the waste is being contaminated in the virus, we don't know. So, in certain areas globally, what they are doing is that the waste is not mixed with the nose mask. It is separated and normally they burn it so that it doesn't become contagious to any environmental area. So this is very simple. You press it like this, which you are no smashing, maybe in this point or there's a thin liner, then you put it inside and then you tie it. So that's very simple. So we urge all members here to make sure their assemblies have all this in their district. Enforce it so that all the nose marks will be captured and burned. It should not be added up to other things. They are very contagious. Hello. Hi. 
we are going to continue with the notes and then would we'll end up watching a video on composting. It's, it's, it's a technology that is there, but we want to introduce it so that you can even start it in your homes. And then uh, presented something for the AMA and they are going to help um, with the policies and things like that pertaining it. So after I go through the notes briefly with you, we'll show the video and you can ask questions. Are you okay with that? Yes, madam. All right, so I'm yes, going madam. to share the screen for our lecture and then we'll continue from there. Do you all have the septic tank on your screen? Yes, madam. Yes, please. This is where you got to the last time, isn't it? Yes, please. With a design and everything. So now everybody knows how to design the septic tank. All right, so we are looking at, you know, in waste treatment, as in solid waste, this, um, we have um, the three R's. There are four. There are four R's. We have reuse, recycle, reduce and uh, recovery so there are four hours i think it's one of the assignments i gave you earlier on it's part of the slide that i just showed to you and um what is happening is that we we have this kind of waste segregation that we want to talk about so you just follow what i'm going to um describe for you and I'll show you the video of how to construct that kind of composting system, even in your home, you can do it easily. So we are going to look at what the waste statistics is, waste segregation, what a black soda fly is, where to find a compost setup and technology transfer to go green, who does what, and the timelines and things like that, and how to construct the queen of compost stack system. So this is what we've been seeing all the time in our environment, in our areas and things like that. Do you know that about 80% of what we um, produce as waste is recyclable, especially the organic part? Even the plastics and um, uh, plastics, metals, and all those things that we collect in our waste are also recyclable. So, with this, it means that we have to do something about even the organic system and the organic part, which is quite huge. So we're looking at other things. This is a recap of what is there. You could have lorry ties and all that here, and then people will be sitting around it, not knowing what to do with the waste, but you can do a lot with the waste. To do something so that the future generation will know what to do with their waste and know how to manage their waste. Simply are looking at what waste segregation is, and it's a process of sorting and grouping the waste materials according to their types. What is the types? We have glass, organic plastic, paper, cans, scrap metals, hazardous waste, and organic. Is it necessary to sort out the waste? Yes, because if you sort it, it could be collected by the various institutions that need those ones to do whatever they want to do with. And it provides a clean and safe environment if we sort it out before disposal, which is a very tough thing for us Ghanaians to do. We put everything together and then the waste people have challenges trying to send it to whatever landfill sites, which we don't even have now. So the black soda fly is called Hematia elucent, and it's used for the production of livestock feed. The lava is used for livestock feeding. And then uh, it's used as a biological conversion of waste, which we want to talk about. It is not a pest, not necessarily a pest, and it has no nuisance or anything like the housefly, which keeps on troubling us. This one only comes in to feed on the organic waste that you have put somewhere. Lay is lava, and the lava would feed on the organic waste for you and turn it into compost. It has a 44 day life cycle from adults, lava, pupa, and things like that. And it spends 18 days as lava, and that is when they eat most. They eat everything organic and turns it into manure. 
and it has a, cosmo um, a cosmopolitan distribution and it's not limited to only one geographic area. So it can be used anywhere. Now let's see, this is the fly we are talking about. It is called the black soda fly and it is black. So the worms are what you see in somebody's hands and these are the worms that we've been um, depending on for the decomposition of the organic waste. The practical session that Malik took us through on segregation and compost uh, management, uh, for me, is very efficient compared to some other um, processes or some other procedures that I knew before. I feel like this is more easy to adopt for households, for offices, um, for businesses even. So that's easy, easy to adopt. And I'm hoping that more and more people would come to this realization and this knowledge will be spread spread more so more people can begin composting um, and using their compost even for greening their houses and um, other other spaces. Uh, the idea is that uh, the trainers from this session will begin training people from their communities, uh, from the places where they are, etc. So hopefully we can begin sending this message out and get more and more people to begin composting. So we reduce waste to landfill basically. Where do we, can we find a compost setup? You see, we see lorry ties and it's the lorry ties that we are using. We can have it at institutions, in their households and at workplace or in our backyards and things like that. The picture that you see is with the former Ministry of the Environment. And uh, he accepted to do some of these things in his home. So he has a number of them and he's using the manure to grow food and green his home. I also have a setup in my house and I'm also using it um, to green my place. Putting dust bins at various places with different colors to indicate what you have to put in what type of bin and so on and so forth. If the a company comes with a truck, it could collect metals and paper, or it could collect um, plastics alone or something. So you just give the plastics to them and we are encouraging households, organizations, and institutions to come on board so that we have the simple technologies in our homes to help us.